Okay, I'm gonna make two batches. So you got your two sleeves of saltines and a gallon Ziploc. You also have your olive oil, your chili powder, your hidden Valley Ranch, the dry powder, the crushed red pepper, the onion powder, the garlic powder, and then again I have two sleeves and a large Ziploc. And then you'll need one tablespoon. That's it, one tablespoon. So one tablespoon of each ingredient is going to go in the Ziploc bag. Now we have all of our dry ingredients in the Ziploc, a tablespoon of each. Then we're going to take one cup of olive oil and we're going to pour it in the Ziploc. Get it all in there nice and neat and wet. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of seal this up a little bit, but you don't want to get the olive oil up here too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix all this um, dry ingredients in with the olive oil. So I'm going to do this here for a little bit. And then once we get it all mixed nice and good, make sure it doesn't get up here. I'm just going to go back and forth till it all mixes up. Once we get this mixed up nice, then we're going to open up our saltine crackers. Only two sleeves. And we'll be right back. Alright, once you got the, uh, the dry mixes in with the olive oil, it makes, a, it makes a rub. And then we've got our saltines here. What we want to do is be careful. You don't want to break the saltines. So you just want to kind of drop them in there. Remember, only two sleeves. Once we get all the crackers in there, then what you want to do is you want to try to get all the air out. And then you zip it up. Alright, now comes the fun part. So what we're trying to do is we want to coat all of these crackers in the rub. So what we're going to do is carefully spin them so that those crackers soak it all up inside. We're going to do that very carefully until we sometimes you spin them like that and you leave it for a little bit. Sometimes you can go like that. And see all that rub's getting on those crackers. Put it that way then all the rub will go to the bottom. Alright, and then I'll, I'll be back with you here in a second. Okay, we got all the crackers, all the rub is soaked into the crackers, and you can cook it in about, you know, fire up the smoker to 225, and then um, I'm going to show you a little bit later, when uh, I'm not going to smoke them today, so what you can do, what you should do, is put them in the refrigerator overnight, and that'll, uh, that'll help the rub soak in, and it won't make the crackers soggy or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this, these guys in the refrigerator and I'm going to fire up the smoker tomorrow. Just set them in there nice and neat and they'll get nice and cool and that's it. Alright we got the smoker going. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get that temperature up to 225 so we have a little bit. Uh, let's go get those crackers and start prepping them for smoking. Alright, there's our crackers. They were in the rub overnight in the refrigerator. And so I put them in this a holy pan. And what I have is I have two pans. What I want to do is I want to take the second one and I want to cover the crackers so that the, the smoke gets distributed evenly. We don't want the smoke to focus on just the top crackers. So if we go ahead and cover it with a second pan, it'll go through all those little holes and it won't... Uh, it won't hurt the top. So now that the crackers are ready, let's go ahead and check the smoker. The grill is smoking good. The crackers are ready. And I thought, you know what? Instead of just smoking crackers, let's smoke some hot dogs. They take about the same amount of time. So once we put these in, it takes uh, 45 minutes to one hour. And that is smoking crackers. That is Florida smoked crackers with a side order of hot dogs yummy